Good morning guys. I'm out here on a sterile bay. I got here at sunrise and I've been uh, trying to catch pinfish for like half an hour. So far I've got one pretty small pinfish and a lizard fish. Typically I catch five of these things in like 10 minutes. But it's been a half an hour and there's just not been the bites. There's been the same three boats over there throwing cast nets for the last half an hour too. And if they had caught bait, they would have been long gone by now as well. So not a good sign. I also ran out of the house without eating breakfast this morning. And although I had made a lunch last night and had it all ready to go in the refrigerator, I forgot to grab it. So I'm already hungry <laughs> at six in the morning. I'm definitely going to be hungry in a couple of hours. We'll see how long I can last today. I may spend the whole day trying to catch bait. Okay. We're going to drop a lizard fish down here. See what happens. Okay, we just saw a shark, so... Not a good sign. We may end up hooking a fish and just losing it right away. Okay, we got more current on this side, definitely. It's weird, the current's not moving over there. On this side, it's moving right along. Good fish. Good fish. Uh, it's just a jack. And before the shark does. All right, a little dinky jack ate our lizard fish. We'll drop another one down. Okay, pulling up on a little hole where I've seen a lot of snapper in the past. Ooh, just spooked something big right there. I think that was a snook. Probably should have had a big bait ready too. What I have rigged up is this tiny, tiny little piece of lizard fish. The snapper can't eat giant live pinfish. So I'm going to stand up here and see if the snapper are here. There's definitely bait here. Big school of mullet. Not seeing the snapper yet. Oh, there they are. They're here. Yeah, there's some keepers mixed in there. There went a redfish, I think. Yep, that's a red. Darn. Why aren't they eating that? Okay, we're gonna try a bigger, I mean a smaller hook. Big ones pick it up. Ah. 
call a snapper, man. put a lighter hook and they're still not picking it up. Maybe there's some bigger ones over here. big old snook there. Did you guys see that? We're gonna get him. Big old snook. My god, my heart is racing. We gotta put the big hook back on. Oh, I don't believe it. I wasn't filming. I just had an awesome battle in the mangroves with this redfish. Hooked right in the corner of the mouth perfectly. And uh, wasn't recording the whole time. I was talking to the camera. Well, I thought I was talking to the camera. Showing this guy off. Man, he, he put up a nice fight. I got him on lighter gear than the last one. All right, that's a pretty fish. Let's get him back in the water. I didn't measure him. Let's, let's measure him really quick. Put him on my paddle. No, I'm not gonna bother measuring him. I wanna get him back in the water. There he goes. Man, I'm sorry guys. I thought I was recording. He ate a huge pinfish. I mean, the pinfish was the size of my whole hand with the fingers and everything. I saw him swirl up on the edge, pitched right up into the fray. He was chasing something else and uh, he found that pinfish real quick. It was an awesome fight though. I wish you guys could have seen it. Let's see if maybe we can get another one on camera this time. Whoa, big manatee. I thought maybe there was a fish chasing bait there. It's just a stinking manatee. Look at this guy. What's he doing? He's coming right at us. I hope he knows I'm here. I better sit down.
What is he doing? Look at the prop scars on his back. There's another one right there. Come up for air so we can see your face, buddy. Okay, I couldn't help but go back to that spot where I saw the snook earlier with all the snapper. It's a different tide now, and uh, fish are feeding actively, so I'm gonna drop this cut bait way back up in there and just sit and wait for a while. Another redfish. This guy's got body spots. It's a pretty one. That's a slot right there. Man, if it was season, it's closed season in this area because it was affected by a red tide a couple years ago. They still haven't reopened it. But the fish are getting big, that's for sure. pretty red. I'd say he's about 24. I forgot my measuring device. I do have my paddle that I can measure him with, but uh, what's the point? I know what, about how big he is. You can see how big he is, right? I'll let you guys hear me better. Yeah, so again, I just threw a piece of cut bait right up under the mangroves where I saw that snook earlier, so I knew it was a a spot that held fish because I saw a big mess of snapper and a lot of times when you see a big mess of snapper there will be redfish and snook hiding back there deeper under the mangroves so it's a good place to soak a bait. Let's get him back in the water. Man, he's about ready to go already. goes straight down to the bottom. Pretty fish. Real pretty with those spots on his body. Okay guys, I came back to the flat where I catch the pinfish and I was intending to catch more live bait and continue fishing into the afternoon, but I broke my little pinfish catching rig and I don't have the tackle to remake it here, so I'm gonna call it a day. We got on some nice fish at least with the cut bait and wow, big snook just hit right there. Darn. So 
So I'm gonna call it a day. We got on some nice fish, a couple nice red fish. Really wish I could have got that big snook that we saw, but we'll get them next time. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you next time.